Okay, folks, let's uh, settle down, come to order. Now, um, what we're going to do today is recapping over uh, some things that we've done before and also moving into some new areas. Um, Edward Argent, the director of the Royal Scottish Academy of Music and Drama, teaches drama students by stressing the importance of the self. He uses ideas related to psychology, ideas such as the looking glass self, the importance other people have in the formation of self, and the value of past experience on behavior. Above all, he wants to heighten the student's awareness of self, and he does this through improvised exercises. The metaphor of the mirror becomes a way of exploring the collision of the I and the me. Um, human beings are, I think, the result of all the things that have happened to them, everything that they have done in their lives, all the people that you have met come together in you. And the process never stops. Uh, the process stops when you die. Some people die in uh, a, an emotional and intellectual kind of sense a lot earlier than physically because they stop. Uh, developing and, and changing. Now, what the actor can attempt to do is to control that process of changing and developing by experiencing things through his imagination rather than waiting for life to happen to deal in some cards. But I want to start off with an exercise that we know well that we, we've, uh, we've done previously but we'll maybe take it into a few new areas, uh, which is the mirror. So, if you like to uh, get yourself a partner, physical mirroring to begin with, just to get the muscles loosened up a bit, and uh, then we'll move on in, into some other kinds of mirroring. Let the faces mirror to expressions. eyes so that you're you're trying to mirror thoughts and feelings and then when you're ready in your own time if any of you want to start moving into not mirroring but balancing finding an, an opposite to your partner And that starts involving you in choices about what's the opposition. If you find strength, you're then looking for weakness as an opposite. Also, when you're ready, when it, when it feels right, you can start introducing words. If that feels useful, just using one word at a time. then be dominated. But Hillary was, she took a bit of time to be dominated then. I was, I was under, I was in, <coughs> Hillary, do it, hit yourself, hit yourself. No, no, no. But I can hit you if I want to. Sure. I was breaking, she got me, you know, and she told me to hit myself, so I went, okay, and kept hitting myself, and I was dominated by her, but then I, she cracked, and she did hit herself, and she took a long time. Yeah. Why was that? I don't know, she's pretty, quite a strong person, I guess, huh? <laughs> there was a lot of rule changing, it went back and forward, I think. Breaking mm. rules. Mm. Yes, yes. It's interesting how this exercise can uh, can lead into a, a lot of freedom and a lot of things developing, because it kind of starts off as a conversation with yourself, doesn't it? Uh, you know, it, it 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 must be you because you're looking in a mirror. 
I don't know, you start getting angry with yourself, or you start starting wanting to master yourself, yes? Or, uh, um, dis decide um, how that other self is going to behave, yeah? The idea of self is absolutely vital to the actor's art because he is dealing with himself as both his raw material and as his main tool. Um, it, it's very difficult to convey because it's, um, a, a, it's drawing on everybody's idea of themselves. And so acting looks like the easiest of art forms and is in fact the most difficult um, because you aren't distancing what you're doing into the material, into the paint or the musical sounds or the words or whatever. You are doing it with yourself. You're doing it with yourself physically and mentally and emotionally. And learning how to manipulate those things is complicated. Let's think about um, uh, being another self that uh, you do have immediate access to, but who is quite a different person. Um, and that's you when you were a child. Yeah? So thinking back as far as you reasonably can, which is, which is usually to school days. Yeah? So early-ish in school days. <laughs> Maybe it was just a matter of some of the the, uh, the aggression that you'd got going in the previous uh, exercise that that just um, hadn't died down yet, and so you, you and you let it you, as children you were able to let it out more in terms of physical action and, and noise and, and so on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Words are fundamental to communication, yet this shouldn't blind us to the importance of non-verbal elements in the presentation of self. We tell one another what we feel and are, what we think and intend by our very actions. 39. In these scenes, totally improvised, the students search for the hidden self. Yet how far they're actually exploring the self and how far other processes are involved is problematical. Have the students developed on this occasion a particular way of responding, a response set in the amount of aggression they portray? And can we know how far imagination, rather than self, 56. 
plays a part in these interactions. These questions underlie the mystery of the self, its nebulous and complex nature. A lot of very strong emotions going very swiftly from one emotion to uh, another. Probably, maybe swifter than, uh, um, than they would in, quote, real life, unquote. Um, you don't think so? Oh, right, well, correct me. Well, the three of us just so happened that the emotion broke dead quickly because we were all really cut up about it. Yeah. And I think because we were all together, the situation was that we all lived together and we were all, we all knew each other really very well, although probably we knew Kate less. Yeah. Um, and because we were so close, I think it could have blown up that quickly. Yeah. Uh, you, for instance, went very swiftly from comforting her to, to accusing her. You, know, you, you started accusing, and then you comforted her at one point, and then, and then you accused again. Which was splendid. I'm not saying that, that um, it, it, it didn't um, have a, a tremendous dramatic intensity. I'm yes, Thirty-one! Thirty-two. Thirty-three. Thirty-four. Thirty-five. Thirty-six. The scene is about the people in it, not the events, not the details of uh, whether it's about somebody's adultery or pregnancy or uh, somebody's cheating somebody out of money or, or, or whatever, you know. It's how do you express, what do you feel about that person? Um, and mostly that comes down to um, uh, what is your relationship of either love or power uh, with them. It all comes back to sex and violence. <laughs> and I, th I, think, I think there was quite a lot of both in, 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 in that scene, which, which was why it was very entertaining. <laughs> A lot of people have an idea of acting as being uh, something that you put on from outside. Um, the, the, the script, the characterization, or whatever. It's a matter of assuming certain e external things, something that you put on. But it, in fact, it isn't. It's something that you bring out from inside. Now, the mask is the most obvious case that there is of putting something on from outside. But if you let it, it will let something come out from inside that you might otherwise um, uh, not have even identified as being there. So allow that to happen. Allow that person to come out from inside and see what kind of person it is and where they want to go and what they want to do. It didn't really want me sitting down. You know, which is why I stood up and then I thought maybe, you know, I'll rearrange the chair and it might, I might feel a bit happier then. I wanted to talk to someone, really. Um, not so much communicate, but mainly, I don't know, I wanted to be mean to somebody. <laughs> <laughs> The mask combines with your face. It, uh, it doesn't wipe it out. 
um, and it doesn't allow it uh, its own normal, full expression. But uh, the most expressive part of your face, the eyes and the mouth, uh, are still there as yours. So what has happened is if you can look back into the mirror and see a new face, it implies a new person. It implies that you can allow then yourself to become one of the other people you might have been if your life had been very different. That piece of... What? No, they're not. Yes. Mine is This isn't bad. That's why we're here. It's not. No, it's not. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with our faces. Just different, that's all. No! Can we have friends? completely isolated. I, I felt completely on my own. And, you know, when I did come across the other characters, I mean, that was really very strange because I, I don't know if I was ready to meet them. And, you know, I, I don't know how good I felt about coming together with the other characters because it was, you know, one second I felt really on my own and the next second I was aware that there was either, these other characters there. What effect did that have on you then? I mean, what kind of person did you feel yourself? Very, un if I say very unattractive, I don't mean... Physically. Physically, I mean a very unattractive person to know. Oh. Henry. Strangely enough, I didn't feel particularly ugly. I thought I would ah! <laughs> But I didn't, f it didn't make me feel really bad. No, it, it, it didn't look ugly. It, no. it, it mm. looked rather, rather beautiful and sad. I don't know, I just felt really calm. A bit sort of fidgety, but inside, inwardly calm, straight. Mm. <laughs> yes, yeah, so, so is, it, 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 is, is, is that a, a, a different you yeah. from normal, uncalm, and really? <laughs> <laughs> Very different. But okay. when Matt came in and started sort of pawing at Jerry, kind of broke that up, yeah. There's something about him that said violence. <laughs> you be the box. Don't you? I'm the box. I've been here longer. Doesn't matter. Do you think it matters? I think it matters. I don't. Yes. No. Who's the boss? No, strong and bad, sadistic like. Yeah. I was going to start to hit Jerry at one moment, but yeah. it never. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when he came to, when you said, oh, I don't mind, uh -huh. when you said he's going to make me work and stuff, and he said he didn't mind, I thought, hmm, this is exactly <laughs> the way I'm feeling inside, because come with me, Jerry. Yeah. That, that, that didn't bother me at all. I mean, I was quite happy for you to be boss. Make you make you work for him. I don't mind. You're stupid then. <laughs> Not stupid. No. 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 No.
Yes, that was fairly powerful. Lots of interesting incidental things along the way. Um, these were masks that, that had a, a, a stronger kind of identity of their own, just simply because they covered more of your face. Yeah. And they're in a different style, so it was unfamiliar. And uh, um, with, with two of you, the, the, your own eyes weren't so visible, simply because of the, the way in which the mask is constructed. It sat that little bit further forward. So, you know, purely technical things like that, then, incidentally, um, have a tremendous emotional effect, simply because, they, you know, the, the, the impact of the face in the mirror um, becomes, uh, works in a different kind of way. It's a self that, that's coming out. Acting techniques will help with the expression of, uh, of what's going to come out, but um, there's, there's just the self there. What I'm trying all the time to say to, to students and to actors when I'm directing in the theatre is that um, each of us has infinitely more possibilities uh, to ourselves than we give ourselves credit for, than uh, has so far manifested itself. And uh, it, it's, it's a very demanding process to uh, look further into yourself um, than you've hitherto done. Hello. 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 It takes a lot of courage to uh, go into yourself in the way that I'm asking these uh, students to do um, in order to find something in there which they can bring out and communicate on a deeper level than ordinary social human communication uh, usually allows. Thank <laughs> you.